hi friends welcome to gt coding in this video we are going to learn how to add this video background in our web page and also build this menu and this text over here we also have a section down here so this page is responsive and we can see that the video covers the whole window and if we resize the window to this size now if we scroll up we can see that the section starts from right there so it depends on how large the window size is so if we increase this size a bit over here and if we scroll down we can see that the next section starts right from there so let's get started by designing this page so I'm using this atom text editor and for displaying it live over here I'm using a package called atom live server so you just have to start the server over here and it will start in your browser so let's get started so I have emmet installed in atom so I can just type exclamation and hit tab and it will give me this HTML5 structure so I will just set some things up over here so we'll set the title to welcome to GT coding we have this navigation menu over here and this heading and this subheading and we also have this section so first of all we need to create this background video so in my project if I open it we can see that I have a folder called videos and in that I have a video an mp4 video so first of all we will create a division called container so for inserting a video in HTML5 you just have to type video and in src attribute you have to give the path of the video so in our case we have our videos in videos slash bg.mp4 so if we refresh we can see that our video is showing up over here but it is not playing right now because we need to add some more properties over here so first so for that we will add autoplay equals true our video is playing right here now we need to add one more attribute over here that is loop is true so once the video finishes playing it will uh, play back again and again and it will continue playing so for that we have to type loop equals true so now we have our video setup now the next thing that we'll do is design these two lines of text in this video we don't have any overlay color for our video in this video we can see we have a blue overlay so we will add that overlay in our in a division and in that division we will also add this text so will create a division called overlay and in that we will add a division called text container and in that we will add two divisions one for the heading and we will type GT coding and the other for subheading and in that we will type learn coding from scratch so we have our text right underneath the video and then we need to create the navigation so for that we will type nav and in that we will have four list items so we will type four over here and home about projects and contact so these are our navigation menus so we can see them right over here we also have a section so for that we will type section and in that we will have a heading we will type get started and after that we will have a paragraph tag and we will type some lorem ipsum text so we have everything set up in our HTML now we will go to our CSS and do the styling before that we will just add link our CSS over here so we'll type link 
style.css now we have our CSS linked now we will go to our CSS and style this page so the first thing that we need to do is get rid of this little white space over here so we will type star and in that we will type margin 0 and padding 0 so that will move the video right to the corner and we also will have a box sizing of border box if you don't know what this means you can check out my video on box sizing then we don't want this uh, horizontal scroll bar so for that we will type body and in that we will type overflow x is hidden so we have we don't have the scroll bar over here the next thing that we'll do is style our container so we will type container and in that we will have a width of 100 viewport width so viewport width is basically the size of the window of our browser so it will extend to the full size of the window and for the height we will type 100 viewport height and overflow to hidden now the next thing that we will do is style the video so we will type container video and that we will have a minimum height of 100% and also a minimum width of 100% this will make sure that even if the user has a big screen the video will always be full screen now the next thing that we are going to style is our navigation menu so we'll type nav and in that we will position the navigation to the top so for that we have to type position absolute and set the top to 0 pixels we can see we have our navigation right over here and we also will also set the width to 100 viewport width so that will extend to the whole window then we will set the height of our navigation to 70 pixels and the background color to RGBA 000.4 for now we we'll just check whether it is the right color so it is almost the same color let's just decrease the opacity to 3 now we will style our UL and we will give it a height of 100% so this will have the 100% height of this navigation and display flex so this is a new kind of display that we have not discussed in our previous videos I will make a separate video on flexbox it is a great way to arrange things in HTML for now just type display flex and type justify content to center so it will position itself in the center and type align items to center and it will position itself right in the middle of the division so that's it for the UL now we will style the list items so here we will give it a font family of Lato and also sans serif if the user does not have Lato installed and also a font weight of bold then we will set the text transform to uppercase list style to none that will get rid of the bullets now set a margin right to 50 pixels and also the color of the text to white so we have our navigation menu right here now the next thing that we will uh, do is style our overlay so we'll have this blue overlay for our video so we will type overlay and in that we will give it a width of 100 viewport width and a height of 100 viewport height 
we'll also set a background color to RGBA and 5155 and 0.7 then we will position it absolute and set the top to 0 pixels now we can see we have our blue overlay for the video now the next thing that we'll take care of is the text container so we'll type text container and we will have a position of absolute and we will have a different approach to center this text over here so for that we will type left 50% and top 50% so it will set the text to uh, the center but the problem is it will start from the center and we don't want that we have we want it to be centered correctly so for that the next thing you will do is transform translate so translate is basically used to move an item on the screen so we will just type minus 50 percent and minus 50 percent so now if we save this we can see our text is centered correctly now we will style our heading so we'll type heading and in here we will have a font family of roboto and also sans serif and uh, we'll give it a font size of 40 points and font weight of bold then we will give it a text transform to uppercase and uh, margin bottom this is for uh, this subheading right here so we will give it a 10 pixels of margin bottom and it will move the subheading down and also the color of the text to FFF now we will style our subheading in that we will give a font family of Roboto and uh, text align it to the center give a font size of 15 points font style to italic and color of the text to white so we have our heading and the menu setup now the last thing that we need to do is style this section over here so that is pretty simple we will just go to our section and here we will type text align to center and uh, padding of 16 pixels font family to roboto sans serif and line height line height is basically the height between two lines of text so we will set it to 2 em and also the background color to 389292 so now if we check this out we can see we have our section right here so if we increase the size of this window we can see the video still plays full screen and if we scroll down we can see this section over here if we decrease the size of our window and if you scroll down from here it will have a section right here so that is basically how you create a video background for your website so if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this i will also post the link of the source code in the description and thanks a lot for watching have a nice day